you know, it's uh, funny. I get, a, I get all these comments from you guys. Thanks, guys. Anyway, yeah, I'm just some old fart. Has medical marijuana in a wheelchair. Look. Oh, here. I'm going to go this way. See my wheelchair? I'm in a wheelchair. I don't have any legs. See? <laughs> yeah, no legs. So, uh, but I got a great big old freaking monitor and a great big old freaking flat panel TV or a flat panel monitor, by the way. Well, actually, it's a. I, I went and got myself, instead of a monitor, I went and got me a little 32 uh, inch flat panel TV that had VGA and HDMI hookups and all that, right? So I got action. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Terabyte computer, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just some old guy who found this YouTube, and uh, this is a, 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 what the folks would, would call a godsend. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm an atheist. I know. What the fuck? We all get hung up in those uh, those old phrases like we say, Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know what I mean. <clears throat> and uh, about medical marijuana, by the way, I wanted to make a shout out to a few people. What the fuck is your problem? Why in the hell do you think it's such a terrible thing that some guy is about to die in five a couple of years anyway, and he's sick as a dog, and you, you want to like pump opiates at him like it's candy, but he wants to try medical marijuana, which works, and has no ill effects at all, no side effects, none of that crap, no addictions, none of that. You would still be, would begrudge a man that. You know, it's people like you that just fucking make me want to say things like, uh, oh, fuck the Pope, the goddamn Pope, I hate that fucking Pope. Fuck the Catholics, goddamn Catholics, they listen to the Pope. His actual name is Poop. Ratzenberger Poop. <laughs> Pope Ratzenberger, the Poop Ratzenberger. Benedict, he calls himself. You know why? That word is for benediction. And now, to be a Benedictine priest, it, he, he's the guy who, who, who made noblemen who sent their kids to monasteries stand over him with a candle while he ate and starve them <laughs> to get them closer to God. Yeah. This, this is the same God who uh, had a guy surviving in a fish for three days, right? Yeah. Is that the same one who sent Joshua into the, into Canaan and every other land around there and uh, killed every living thing of the field, crawls on the earth and everything else because God said it was his land? Is it the same one? Is that the same one that tells you if your freaking daughter isn't a virgin when she gets married that it's your duty to stone her to death in front of the village? Yeah, I mean, what is it? Which part of the Bible are these people freaking following, man? That's what I want to know. Fuck them all. Fuck the Pope. And it's, it, all those rings and shit he wears must be worth millions of dollars. And the artwork, the, the Sistine Chapel and all that shit in the Vatican. Jeez. Could you imagine how much money they make on tourism? <laughs> And the, all the baskets they pass around at church. I wonder where all that money goes. To the pedophiles. <laughs> they gotta, they gotta be able to, uh, you know, go to the, 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 the adult stores so they can buy their toys. I'm oh, sorry. And then we got places like text. Listen to this one. They actually want to teach creations, you know. They want to teach, uh, well, they'll, they'll call it intelligent design. I love that. But we all know they mean creations. They want to teach their children that instead of science, that'll get them succeeding in college and doing things, they'd rather they learn the Bible's science. <laughs> Where the earth is only like, you know, six, seven thousand years old. Uh, the dinosaurs were too big to put on the ark, so God just drowned them and uh, like uh, uh, moved the bones around and and buried them, so the scientists would have something to do. I guess I don't know what else. It's all mythological crap. I don't get it. It's the 21st century. 
there's still people out here in America that is that admit they don't understand science that they're so stupid that they can't understand science so they automatically got to assume it's a magician they'd rather understand magic than science why well because magic's easy <laughs> it's like zap and it's there and that's what they believe <coughs> <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know they call them miracles, <laughs> but they are. It's just, you know, in real terms, it's all magic. They believe in magic. They believe in magicians. They believe in a superhero living in the sky that's in charge and focusing on everything. And, and uh, what about all the other planets in the universe? And all the other beings out there, all the other entities. Are we the only life in the universe? Does you think this God has enough power to be able to <laughs> keep an eye on everybody? And what's with this thing about how if you get in a plane wreck and you're the only survivor, everybody says you were so blessed. Well, what God hated the rest of them or something? Because they they weren't worthy. You know why do you people do shit like that? Can you imagine how? insulted the other families must feel because that's how you think it's you know your child or your friend or whatever is blessed that god must have loved them and eh, never mind the other people what the fuck is that all about you know and circumcision i mean please it's male genital mutilation or female genital mutilation and nothing else is brought from religion and it has no other place it's not medically sound it's not medically necessary in fact without it you'll get more disease uh, sore uh, in fact I did it I'm gonna this, I, I, I did it in impromptu uh, study I asked all these friends on I'm 56 I'm almost 60 years old I'm I know a lot of men uh, you know that complain about erectile dysfunction and all that I see it on TV and I talk to people that I even don't know even and I've talked online and stuff and I've asked them this question all the ones I've asked about uh, that are that have erectile dysfunction are circumcised every one of them I didn't talk to any man who was suffering from erectile dysfunction who had his foreskin. I wonder what that tells you. Hmm. I tried to ask men who had foreskin. They said, well, I, I don't have any erectile dysfunction. See, because I asked for people with erectile dysfunction and it just turned out that 100% of them were circumcised. Now, that alone should tell you something. Okay. Think about that, doctors. We'll see y'all later. I'm Gerald Reynolds, and this is Portland, Oregon. Good afternoon. By the way, it is Wednesday. South Park's on tonight. Of course, they won't show Muhammad because he's a dickhead and a rainbow. <laughs> fuck Muhammad. Fuck Islam. And every other religion in the world. Fuck you. Yeah. Don't have to respect you, and I won't.